Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part three of this pattern. This should really be part two. The part two was a leak. And while I was making that video, and I asked for somebody to chime in, and he sure did. Uh, so simple. And he, he's helped me before, suggested things. After you make your first line, so if you haven't seen the first video on how to make the first line, and I don't know why, well, this is above my pay grade on this one, but 60%, rotate at 60%. And if you will notice, we will measure our Pentagon from there to there is 18, 0.18. And we want them to be 0.2 apart. So we're going to change it to 0.2 which would be 20. Control D and make a duplicate and move it over. I mean, I'm almost embarrassed that that was that easy. And spacing looks good. And you could just keep going and you don't have to do that. That would be a cool enough pattern. But then you could put it back to zero and have your... Well, it's the same thing. Um, but if you wanted your pattern that way, let's look at it. it it's 60 degrees. It's going to be the same thing. So it doesn't really matter which way you do it. Um, that would be as equal as good a pattern. So I think that viewer, or, he must be a subscriber because he watch, off, watches an awful lot of my videos. And then you could do the same thing there by putting this inside of an item or take your smart fill tool and fill that in and how it fills in all the lines. Pretty cool. We can all learn from YouTube. Hope that helped a little bit. Thanks for watching.